So let me talk about a specific um, type of optics, pretty simple to understand, um, polarization optics, which is a polarizing beam splitter. So these are um, essentially optics that are designed to split apart a beam by um, which portion of the light is in the X and which portion of the light is in the Y direction. Um, so again, I'm thinking about, so what I have here, I, I wrote S and P down here to denote different directions that are, again, perpendicular to the direction of travel. So the S direction, um, so S and P are basically the equivalent of what I had called um, X and Y. They're just two perpendicular directions. Um, and what a polarizing beam splitter does is it just basically splits them into the two components. Um, so the, uh, the S direction, for example, um, in the, the way that I've drawn it on this picture would um, reflect at a 90 degree angle at a polarizing beam splitter. And um, the P portion of the laser beam would go directly through the, the, uh, the thing. So basically what, you can, what you're doing is you, like whatever the linear polarization of light is, it might have some arbitrary combination of S and P, but what this polarizing beam splitter does is it actually separates them out into their vector components. It basically is projecting the electric fields onto the X and Y direction or the S and P direction. Um, so fun fact, what does S and P stand for? It's a little bit complicated to understand. So um, in order to understand the term S and P, you have to think about um, what happens at a polarizing beam splitter. So at a polarizing beam splitter essentially is a connection between two different pieces of glass, uh, glass that have um, different um, speed of light um, in them. And uh, what happens is I can draw a vector that's perpendicular to the plane of reflection. Um, and I can inscribe a triangle that goes between the direction of propagation of our light and that perpendicular um, vector that I've drawn in yellow. So I can describe a plane associated with that. P describes the portion of the laser beam that is parallel to that plane. And S describes the, per the portion that is perpendicular. So how did they come up with S? Well, I guess it just turns out that um, in German, when this was invented, the, the German word for perpendicular actually starts with an S. So there.